Duck pin bowling is really unique in the sense that it's easy to pick up. People can just come in, play. It's not hard to learn. You don't have to have a ton of skill to, to really understand how to come in and just have a good time. Smaller balls, smaller pins, smaller lanes, and uh, it's really easy to just play the game, but it's also a game that's a little harder than you would expect because there's never been a perfect game bowled in duck pin bowling. So that it's very difficult to get a strike, but it's also really easy for beginners to pick it up. If you're a professional bowler, it's also really fun and challenging. So we are uh, anticipating opening middle of next week. Uh, we have a few things that are coming in as far as our uh, supplies, and uh, we should be ready to go and open it up to the public by next week, hopefully Wednesday or Thursday. We have some great uh, local uh, draft beer selections, um, local cocktails, um, we have a great wine list, and so we have a wonderful drink on the menu called the Mega Mule, which is a really unique uh, vessel that we send it out in. It's about a 32 ounce um, drink that we have. Uh, we have a lot of other cocktails that we're going to be showcasing that our mixologist has put together here. Um, the food is an interesting concept that you can bring food into Woodrow's Duckman from anywhere you'd like to bring it in from. So you could order pizza, you could Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, you can bring in your own catering, or you can use the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel's concept called Ta Taco Alley, which is located in the space. We're excited to invest in downtown Grand Rapids uh, as previous generations over the last 30, 40, 50 years have invested in the city to grow Grand Rapids and West Michigan. We believe this is a, a catalyst for more entertainment and things to do for people to come downtown that draws feet and faces to downtown Grand Rapids to really enjoy the wonderful assets that our community has to offer.